The only certainty is that nothing is certain. From the end spring new beginnings. Home is where the heart is. No mortal man, moreover, is wise at all moments. The lust of avarice has so totally seized upon mankind that their wealth seems rather to possess them than they possess their wealth. Truth comes out in wine. Such is the audacity of man that he hath learned to counterfeit nature and is so bold as to challenge her in her work. The depth of darkness to which you can descend and still live is an exact measure of the height to which you can aspire to reach. It is generally more shameful to lose a good reputation than never to have acquired it. How innocent, how happy, how truly delightful even would life be if we were to desire nothing but what is to be found upon the face of the earth. In a word, nothing but what is provided ready to our hands. Hope is the pillar that holds up the world. Hope is the dream of a waking man. Grief has limits, whereas apprehension has none. For we grieve only for what we know has happened, but we fear all that possibly may happen. An object in possession seldom retains the same charm that it had in pursuit. The invention of money opened a new field to human avarice by giving rise to usury and the practice of lending money at interest while the owner passes a life of idleness. Many dishes bring many diseases. In time of sickness, the soul collects itself anew. It is this earth that, like a kind mother, receives us at our birth and sustains us when born. It is this alone, of all the elements around us, that is never found an enemy of man. Let that which is wanting in income be supplied by economy. We live by reposing trust in each other. Not a day without a line. Nothing which we can imagine about nature is incredible. The most valuable discoveries have found their origin in the most trivial accidents. Envy always implies conscious inferiority wherever it resides. In the literary as well as military world, most powerful abilities will often be found concealed under a rustic garb. The happier the moment, the shorter. Let not things, because they are common, enjoy for that the less share of our consideration. Example is the softest and least invidious way of commanding. It has been observed that the height of a man from the crown of the head to the sole of the foot 
is equal to the distance between the tips of the middle fingers of the two hands when extended in a straight line. True happiness consists in being considered deserving of it. The enjoyments of this life are not equal to his evils. Nature makes us buy her presence at the price of so many sufferings that is doubtful whether she deserves most the name of parent or stepmother. Human nature craves novelty. Men are most apt to believe what they least understand, and through the lust of human wit, obscure things are more easily credited. The master's eye is the best fertilizer. Let honor be to us as strong an obligation as necessity is to others. Chance is a second master. I would have a man generous to his country, his neighbors, his kindred, his friends, and most of all, his poor friends. Not like some who are most lavish with those who are able to give most of them. Our youth and manhood are due to our country, but our declining years are due to ourselves. The most disgraceful cause of the scarcity of remedies is that even those who know them do not want to point them out as if they were going to lose what they pass on to others. We neglect those things which are under our very eyes and heedless of things within our grasp. Pursue those which are afar off. With man, most of his misfortunes are occasioned by man. There is, alas, no law against incompetency. No striking example is made. They learn by our bodily jeopardy and make experiments until the death of the patients. And the doctor is the only person not punished for murder. Better do nothing than do ill. It is a maxim universally agreed upon in agriculture that nothing must be done too late, and again, that everything must be done at its proper season. While there is a third precept which reminds us that opportunities lost can never be regained. Fortune favors the brave. The great business of man is to improve his mind and govern his manners. All other projects and pursuits, whether in our power to compass or not, are only amusements. As land is improved by sowing it with various seeds, so is the mind by exercising it with different studies. Nature is to be found in her entirety nowhere more than in her smallest creatures. Accustom yourself to master and overcome things of difficulty. For if you observe the left hand for want of practice is insignificant and not adapted to general business, yet it holds the bridle better than the right from constant use. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written and writing what deserves to be read. Indeed, what is there that does not appear marvelous when it comes to our knowledge for the first time? How many things, too, are looked upon as quite impossible 
until they have actually been affected. There is no book so bad that some good cannot be got out of it. There is no evil without something good. A bad bargain is always a ground for repentance. The desire to know a thing is heightened by its gratification being deferred. Always act in such a way as to secure the love of your neighbor. Lust is an enemy to the purse, a foe to the person, a canker to the mind, a corrosive to the conscience, a weakness of the wit, a besotter of the senses, and finally, a mortal bane to all the body. Thank you for watching.